What's up traders and welcome to my stream. Today has been a great day. Up a really ton of cash today. Uh, shorting um, a stock called AI. AI was an artificial intelligence. Anyway, so I did short this one at I think around 46 and I covered at 39. The stock ended up plunging to 31. It's a ticker that went from $15 up to a round number of $50 and I don't know what happened today but I pretty much did not sleep that well and I woke up in the middle of the night and I pretty much the first thing I saw on my scanner was AI <laughs> so I shorted it in the pre-market and uh, I alerted in the chat and it went plunging down like a freaking kamikaze and I made a killer seven thousand and sixty dollars and i could have made even more if i held it for just a little longer but um soon enough i took my gain and i ran anyway i make sure you stick around for the next uh, minute and a half of the intro i know it's long but you won't you, won't, you will want to stick around to see how i manage this position All right, so this is AI right about here. Uh, this is uh, the AI stock, to tell you the truth. Uh, this is what it looks like. It has to do with artificial intelligence. And artificial intelligence has been hot. Uh, you can see so here, looking at the daily, it's been pretty freaking hot. It went from, I don't know, like $17 up to $45. And what's in interesting about this setup is that, you know, over here, you had a textbook breakout of around $30 or $32. And uh, what happened was, is like, you know, I never short into this up move over here. Uh, and what you can see here is that, you know, today, yesterday was the day in which we had an all time high volume. And also, you know, it kind of just blew out of the top over here somehow. You had this uptrend and you have also the all time high volume. Uh, so there are a couple things going on with this ticker. First off, uh, multiple times when it had when it had all-time high volume if you look at the daily over here uh, and if you look at the daily over here and if you look at the daily over here actually uh, actually over here that's not a really good indication but most of the time when the stock develop all-time high volume uh, abnormally uh, around over 62 million which is a lot of money for this uh, for this uh, ticker to tell you to 62 million that's a lot of money on uh, multiply that by 20 that's like 1.2 billion dollars so there was a lot of money in this ticker for um, uh, for traders to to make money I'm sure a lot of traders I'm sure a lot of traders traded traded this one long and short and um, um, I mean this ticker ended up making a huge bank um, for some of them so what I thought that happened here was a pretty much a big short squeeze that happened here and then a run up in the aftermarket and uh, what was what was what was trigger for this stock you know it was re a green to red move as you can see uh, green on the day for the next day so I watched it finished at 44 so green on the day would have been over 44 and red on the day would have been under 44 so we're gonna talk all about that because to me in my mind after it hit like $15 up to 45 I mean the stock is due for a pullback because I know all these shorts that got they, they shorted here and here and here and all these shorts that shorted here probably got stopped out into the 45s and blew up their account 
So now we're going to look, look at exactly where I sorted it step by step. As you can see, so I woke up in the morning at around 5 o'clock in the morning and I did see this uptrend, wedge, up, uptrend support area at 45. And then I saw this uptrend uh, support area just, you know, you have this low, this low, this low. And then, you know, it was grinding up to break 47 at around 5.23 a.m. And, um, and I looked at it whether or not it's going to break 47. And you also got to understand that, you know, um, 47, it's a close to a round number. A lot of people don't understand that, you know, trading is about trading round numbers. I like dollar rolls, $10 rolls, $5 rolls, $50 rolls in this scenario. So this ceiling of a round number of $50, uh, pretty much, um, pretty much it was the top. <laughs> it's, it's as simple as that sound. And, uh, a lot of people do not know pretty much short too soon. And uh, since they since they short too soon, they pretty much um, <laughs> get squeezed out. So it so it makes this massive move from like as you can see here at a low of fifteen dollars up to forty four dollars. So that's a big short squeeze. So you now you have to understand where exactly is the top. So I was watching this support line, this trend line. You can see so here, and uh, you know I was wondering where where is it gonna be the top. And I looked at it and I watched it confirm where the top was and you can see so that this trend line over here was pretty much the beginning of the end um, you can see so here we held in the pre-market um, right about here would also held over here I believe so we also held over here right about here and we also held over here and you can see so that here uh, right about here we did not hold and that is the exact area that I did short and I alerted to my subscribers to short this security right there that is the exact area that I did uh, alert my subscribers in the chat room that I went short as a matter of fact I did um, I did pretty much post this screenshot uh, you can see so in my discord page right about here in the morning uh, if I were gonna look at it much more clearly um, I posted this, this chat